properties of perfect squares. So I'll explain you uh, six important properties regarding perfect square. So let us see one by one. First property is a square of an even number is always an even number. Square of an even number. is always an even an even number so any even number you take and apply the square again you'll get the even number only so we'll see example so for example 2 is even 2 is even right and square of the 2 is also even number 8 is even number and 8 square 64 so is also even number next one square of an odd number is also always an odd number square of an odd number square of an odd number is always an odd number so similarly you can take some example for odd number also 3 is odd number 3 is odd then 3 square 9 so e is also odd number Not only that, you can take uh, 15. 15 is odd number. So 15 square. That is 15 into 15. 15 15 is 225. Is also odd number. One more. The square of proper fraction is a proper fraction less than the given fraction. So, for example, if you take any proper fraction, square of a proper fraction square of a proper fraction. So, proper fraction is uh, numerator is lesser than denominator, right? Square of a proper fraction. is a proper fraction less than the given fraction is less than given fraction so for example I will tell you example is clear now for example I will take 1 by 3 so 1 by 3 is a proper fraction but 1 by 3 square is 1 by 9 but 1 by 3 is so one which is a taking that means 1 by 3 must be greater so 1 by 9 is less so 1 by 9 is less than 1 by 3 so square of a proper fraction is always the less than the given fraction any proper fraction you take now for example 2 by 5 is a proper fraction now 2 by 5 whole square is 4 by 25 so that answer the square is less than 2 by 5 so other numbers means they are only more okay previous example if you take 15 square is 225 so 225 only is greater than 15 okay now 3 square is 9 so 9 only greater than 3 but when you come to proper fractions the square only is less than the given proper fraction that only it says Now fourth one, fourth one you come to the decimals, similar like for proper fraction rule only. That is, the square of a decimal fraction is less than one, is smaller than the given decimal. The square of a decimal fraction
decimal fraction less than 1. So less than 1 any decimal fraction if you take is smaller than the given fraction a given decimal. Fine. Let us see example. So you should take any decimal number which is less than 1. That is uh, 0 0.3. Now this is less than 1. So 0 0.23 square. That means whole square. Is 0 0.09. So that 0 0.09 is actually square of this 0 0.3. But that only is lesser than the given number. So proper fractions as well as decimal numbers which are less than 1 of the same rule. So the number itself is a smaller than the given numbers, given proper fraction or given decimal. Next rule of property 5. This is a number ending in is important for any object to type especially a number ending in 2 comma 3 comma 7 or 8 2 3 7 8 is never a perfect square So you need not to check again because if any number is ending in 2, 3, uh, 7, 8, any one of this number is there in units place, they are not at all perfect squares. Okay, example 72. So 2 is in units place. 243, 3 in units place. 567, and 988. So the number which is ending with 2, 3, 7 or 8, it is never be a perfect square. So none of them is perfect squares. Not only these examples, you can take any example which is ending with 2, 3, 7, 8 in units place. So objective wise or in the ask for finding perfect square, directly you can guess it by seeing these digits. And one more rule also which is never be perfect square, that is a number ending in odd number of zeros. A number ending in an odd number of zeros. So there also is never be a perfect square. Is never be perfect square. So odd number of zeros. Right? The example is if you take 80, 820. One, only one zero. That is odd number. 25 is perfect square. But if I will keep three zeros. So 25,000. So this is also not a perfect square. Any number you can take ending. 49000000. Zero, 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 zero. Five zeros. That is 49 lakhs. So that is not a perfect square because ending in an odd number of zeros. Okay, these are the six uh, properties you can use to finding the perfect square and which is less or which is more or easy way. Next we see some in, uh, interesting patterns in square of numbers.